Okay, last video. So just a quick roundup, and again, this isn't scientific, but I thought I'd just do it so because I'm sure that there are people out there going, hmm, should I buy Dakota Digital? Should I do the right thing and call Jack and tell him I need a cluster because um, I want to stay with the OEM? Or maybe have Jack rebuild it? <laughs> just a, a, qu a quick plug. Or buy one of these, and I think this isn't the worst deal in the world, especially if you're buying it, um, you know, if you bought it and you're going to maybe flip it um, and you don't really care about the long-term um, potential problems that you might have. Or, you know, it's it's, it's a pretty decent um, entry into this whole thing. So the one thing I'd say is this guy looks a little suspect to me. Um, first of all, again, it's not miles per hour. And I, you know, there may be a way to, you know, change some of this internally. Um, but the, for whatever reason, I guess there's more, um, more people in the world that use kilometers. They just decided to make them all kilometers per hour. So that's, that's, um, you know, something to consider, obviously. And then, um, you know, it looks a little cheap to me, but, but again, I'm kind of picky on that stuff. Um, the back bezel is really nice like you know it's i don't know if anybody's ever done this but it is really hard to get out a can of spray paint and get a a, a, a finish like that um there's a couple little bumps here and there on there on this but again a really great attempt at getting um getting it painted nicely got a nice jewel in there the funny thing with me is all of this lettering down here is fantastic almost like they had an original source for those because when I look at the lettering on this inner bezel, it looks like it's an OEM bezel. Um, I don't think it is, but maybe it was stamped from one. You know, maybe they got a hold of the stamps and, and the printing. But that printing is, is really nice, like as good as I've ever seen. So, um, and then it has the booties on the bottom, which, again, no, those are really those are really rare to come across. Um, the gauges I think are okay. I think the I think what we saw was that the low high on the on the oil pressure is a little bit off. <clears throat> and again, I, I I hate to say that this is right or wrong because this is a new thing. I, I would have to do a little research on this. And just again, this is kind of the internal voltage regulator that comes with the OEM, and it has a little a little thing here. And there's a great write up on mud for this um, in the clusters, odometers, and speedometers um, thread that kind of explains how that works. It, it gets hot, it opens, it closes, um, and then it, and then that feeds the seven volts over to the, to the cold and the hot. I think what they did here was they did kind of the same thing, um, but used this solid, uh, you know, I think that's like a solid state kind of voltage regulator, which, you know, maybe is better, right? And then, and then, this the the cold hot was right on the money um the the last thing here didn't have room for everything is the board the board looks really nice i mean it's, it's really well laid out um looks just like oem again this isn't copper but um you know that probably doesn't matter all that much and even has the uh, part number stamped in it there so well there you go Hope this helps anybody trying to make a decision to buy these. Um, again, I think it's a pretty good attempt at all of this. There's a lot of there's a lot of work went into this and a lot of you know effort to try to get it to to be as close to an OEM entry as it can be, um, even to have all the hoods and everything exactly the same. So, alrighty, and if you got any questions, drop me a line. Um, JVZ two or JVZII. Sorry about that. All right, thanks everyone.